Did you know that people are making cheese out of celebrity belly button bacteria? Did you know that you can make cheese out of belly button bacteria? Yes, you can, and I'm gonna weird you out right now on IO. What is gravy potatoes? You are watching IO. We do the news and spill the tea and eat the cheese. Preferably not cheese made out of belly buttons. My name is Charlotte Dobre, and I want to know would you eat cheese made out of bacteria from celebrity belly buttons? Would it depend on the celebrity? I think I would eat Ryan Gosling belly button cheese. Tell me your thoughts down there in those comments, and if you're new here, subscribe for your daily dose of boredom cure with a side of news updates that will make you probably laugh. Probably, no promises. Okay, so I've kind of like been wanting to ask you guys something. Have you ever noticed that your belly button kind of smells weird? Yes, I do have a belly button, and no, I'm not going to show you, but I mean, I have to admit, I have smelled my belly button before. Come on, don't lie, you have to. Belly buttons are stinky, and that's because there's lots of bacteria in your belly button. In fact, belly buttons are thriving ecosystems. Back in 2011, scientists did a study on microbial contents of the belly buttons of 60 volunteers, and the study found more than 2,360. 68 bacterial species and around 1400 of those may be new to science. And the bacteria in your belly button is different for every person. Apparently one of these test subjects had two species of bacteria, extra mobile bacteria, that typically live in ice caps and thermal vents. I mean honestly, it really doesn't get weirder than this. <laughs> Actually, wait, it does. So now that you know that there's basically a rainforest of organisms inside your belly button, you absolutely have to be aware that artists are making cheese from the bacteria that's been harvested from the belly buttons of celebrities. Don't get any ideas guys, you ain't getting anywhere near my belly button bacteria. Artists Christina Agapkis and Cecil Tolas took swabs of bacteria from the belly buttons of five different celebrities. They then took the microorganisms on the swabs and mixed them with milk and made cheese. <laughs> Honestly dude, you can't make this shit up. <laughs> You have my word as the potato queen, people are making cheese out of celebrity belly button bacteria. The cheese these artists made is on display as part of an exhibition at the Victoria and Albert Museum in London. The exhibition is called The Bigger Than Plate, and in case you're wondering, the celebrities who let these artists swab their belly buttons include rapper Professor Green, Chef Heston Blumenthal, Alex James from Blur, Baker Ruby Tando, and Suggs from Madness. I honestly haven't heard of any of these celebrities, but then again, I can't exactly picture Meryl Streep letting someone swab her belly button bacteria. I shouldn't be that surprised. Using their belly bacteria, these artists were able to make Cheshire cheese, Stilton, cheddar, Comte, and mozzarella. Mmm! The co-curators had this to say, in an era of major ecological challenges, fast changing societies, and technological reinvention, now is a crucial moment to ask not just what we will be eating tomorrow, but what kind of food future do we want? What could it look like and taste like? Call me a crazy, but I could definitely live with a future with no belly button bacteria cheese. But to ease your stomachs, artisan cheesemaker Rosie Cotton had this to say. I know it sounds disgusting, but really it's quite clever. Not all bacteria is bad bacteria. Even the cheese you see in shops comes from bacteria. Granted, it isn't made from human bacteria, but I think it's a fun way of trying something a little bit different. She also said, I wouldn't necessarily try this at home, but it definitely shows you the fun that can be had with food if you're willing to step outside the box. Or the belly button. Well, I'm officially weirded out, and I don't get weirded out very easily. I can't imagine how you guys feel, but you know what? This is IO, and it wouldn't be an IO video with a little bit of weird. Also, I bet half of you have stuck your finger in your belly button and sniffed it by now. <laughs> For now, I'm gonna respond to some comments. Anastasia Mal said, Charlie, can I ask you something? Yes. In my country right now, it's 2030. What time is it there? Right now, as we are filming this, it is about 3, no, 3 p.m.? 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Wood said, Charlotte has an awesome sense of humor about the tea and the scary stuff. Can she scare herself? Every morning when I look in the mirror. Blue Scoo said, let me get your number. No. Three. Hannah said, inform overload, I gotta say this channel gives me some good advice in a fun way. I am rather good at giving advice. I should learn to take my own. Okay, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. If you wanna keep watching, we put together a playlist for you with a bunch of videos just like this one. And obviously, leave a like, thumbs up, that's the same thing, and subscribe and turn on notifications, and I'll see you in the next IO video.